This week on No Limits Fishing. It's a great example if you watch these guys on how to angle King Mackerel. We're here at the checkout for the 2015 Jollymon VIP King Classic. This is a very unique tournament, a new format. We're actually requiring boats stay within a certain distance of a given waypoint. The cool part is they don't know where they have to fish until right now. So there's no pre-fishing. Nobody knows where they're gonna go. We're handing them their information right now. The other unique thing that we're doing here with this event is we're not allowing anyone to have live bait on board prior to checkout. So again, all of the preparations have been diminished. So what we'll do, this will ultimately be, uh, we check the boats out here, there'll be a shotgun start in about 30 minutes, and then everybody will be off to either catch live bait, which they can catch bait after they check out, or they can carry dead bait prior to check out and they may just go straight fishing. So it's a unique format designed to level the playing field. Doesn't matter, you know, how much money you have, how boat, how big your boat is, how much time you have, everybody is head to head straight up here at the Jolly Mom VIP. And uh, we are finishing up our, our 50 boat checkout. We've got about a dozen left and the shotgun start is coming soon. Stay within two miles of the point at the bottom of that page while you're fishing, we'll be out there enforcing it. And number three is to stay on channel. All right, guys, let's go over a couple of things with you real quick. First thing is, when you leave here, go to the Shalot Sea Buoy. Stay within 500 yards until checkout. Take these rules and read them. Very important. You need to monitor channel 72 all day long. It's very important. Do you guys want to get into the TWT? You do. And what is the name of the captain that's going to be registered here? Ashley Widenhouse. All right, I'm going to walk the guys on down while he's doing that, okay? All right, keep cool. Very bad. Okay, and the boat name? Coming in hot. We got a shark cow cutter too. Yeah. That'll be next. We take dynamite. Alright, you guys want to get into the I do. Alright. Do you need a hundred dollars? Yes, sir. The turn up and turn up. I'll get the Good luck, guys. Alright, go, go, go. Go, go, go. Tournament time, baby. This is an awesome, awesome idea. An yeah. awesome event. We are in the midst of the beginning of the VIP tournament here before the Jollymon. We're out here in the middle. The boats are out here catching bait. This is an awesome scene. Yeah, yeah. So phase one for most boats, live bait is very critical to catching the biggest king mackerel. And these boats here behind us, we had our shotgun start. Everybody races down the beach to find the schools of Menhaden, which Menhaden are, you know, one of the most popular bait fish used for king mackerel. Right, so I guess 
52, 50, how many yeah, it actually ended up being 54 invites. 54 invites, so 54 of the top tournament teams in this area are out here competing today. Like you said, we did the shotgun start. We ran down the beach about five miles to where the bait was most prevalent. You can see the, the pelicans are diving, the, the pogies are flipping behind us. Yep. These guys are some of the best at catching bait. I mean, we were right behind them, and I promise you half of them already caught their bait and got out of here before we even got That's here. That's right, yeah, so most of these guys are using 10 to 12 foot cast nets. They're looking for the pops on top of the water. They'll throw one time. Most of these guys that are good catch more than enough bait, load their well for their day of fishing. They've got about eight hours of fishing ahead of them and then they speed off to their spot. Right here you got, this is the on a mission fishing team. This is Captain Chris Bryant. We got bait, we got bait. These guys already called their bait. They're heading offshore to the fishing hole. Yep. It's game time. Yep, it's about eight miles from here guys. So everybody's pulling out a few, uh, few folks still catching bait but it is game on this is part one for most boats no limits fishing is brought to you by hardy white and sons is a fourth generation company located on main street in downtown shiloh north carolina since 1925 Artie white and sons has been serving southern brunswick county providing fuel and gas delivery including highway non-highway fuels home eating oil kerosene regular and premium gasoline and non-ethanol gas specializing in delivery, installation, and servicing of LP gas tanks and LP gas appliances. For information, find us online at www.rdwhiteandsons.com. Get back to nature at the area's unique one-of-a-kind outdoor adventure center, the Shalot River Swamp Park, featuring 10 exciting zip lines, a 53-obstacle aerial adventure park, and a serene eco-boat tour through the swamp. Fun for all ages. Get out and play at the Shalot River Swamp Park. Located at 5550 Watch Road, Ocean Isle Beach. Visit us online at www.zipandplay.com. The OIFC Wing and Fish Company is located in downtown Shalote, just 10 minutes from Ocean Isle and Holden Beach. As back-to-back -back winners of Best of Brunswick, we proudly serve fresh fish from the fleet of boats at the Ocean Isle Fishing Center. 25 flavors of wings and 20 plus beers on draft. Come join us for daily specials on Tuesday night for trivia, Wing Wednesday, and live entertainment on Friday. Since 1998, Yellowfin has been dedicated to an uncompromising mission. Nice, nice! To provide fishing families with boats designed to be the ultimate in performance, efficiency, quality, and style, with the driest, most stable ride on the water, legendary attention to detail, and unsurpassed fishability. The ultimate goal at Yellowfin is to provide families with the freedom to create a lifetime of great memories, one day at a time. First Bank is proud of our commitment to build and grow businesses within our community. Projects like the new Shalote River Swamp Park exemplify our willingness to stand behind projects that we feel will positively affect the local community. Visit one of our local branches to speak with a friendly loan representative or find us online at www.localfirstbank.com and let us help you grow your business. Now back to more No Limits Fishing. All right, this is the real buzz team. He just threw his net, he got a load full of menhaden. This is what these guys are trying to catch right here for bait. These are pogies, they are king mackerel candy. He's got more than he can hardly get in the boat. Let's see what he's got, look there. There you go, just like that. That's enough bait for the whole day right there. He's gonna put them in his live well to keep these baits alive. They get out there, they, they hook them up on their, uh, on their king mackerel rigs, throw them out. The baits are out there swimming around, tracks the big king mackerel. Live bait fishing. All right, with this unique format here in the Jollymon VIP, we're requiring everyone fish within a given boundary area and it's a small boundary so everyone is well within sight of each other more or less fishing for the exact same fish so there are going to be keys to victory captain barrett what are you your two keys to victory you think 
I'd say that, uh, like I said, with everybody fishing the same spot, it's going to be about distinguishing your spread of baits. Right. Um, and to me, what that means is doing something different than anybody else uh, in terms of what kind of bait that you use. You know, most yeah. most all boats stopped in there and caught live menhaden. I wouldn't go fishing without them, but I'm not so sure that that's going to be the key to catching the biggest fish. Right. What do you like? I think you know a couple different things. Uh, some folks probably brought some frozen ribbon fish out here right I think that could be a big deal to have today I also think that um, maybe jigging some uh, baits that are indigenous to this particular spot might be good like a pinfish right. or a Spanish mackerel or something different I think it's gonna be huge right right well I feel like just looking around and seeing how the boats are all together I'm thinking that stealth may be one of the keys to victory here so you've got all these guys like you said most of them pulling similar stuff so and a lot of boat traffic here so maybe the fish get a little more weary so possibly lightening up your leader your main line shortening your leaders possibly again the attempt what we're trying to do is make your bait present better and look more natural so if a fish sits there and he sees baits coming by he might pick yours because yours looks like you know the, the most correct one so right, that, that might be that, my key and that makes sense too with the, the how clear the water is also right. you know right. that, that that would help you a lot in that sense yeah so all these guys are on a level playing field they're out there competing there's been a few fish put in the boat today there's, there's no secrets we're all in the same spot it's gonna be about who's gonna be the best fisherman today head to head duking it out all right this is the holding on fishing team with captain Alan Holden Teak Hemphill his crew these guys have gotten a bite and I can see by the angle of the line that this fish has run a good way so this could be a good fish Alright, this fish is getting closer. It made a pretty decent little run here. They've been following, chasing after the fish. Now they're getting close to getting on top of them. You see the gas man is ready and waiting for a shot at the fish. The objective is to get that fish out of the boat, into the or excuse me, out of the water and into the boat as quick as possible. like a small fish but the format of this tournament being two fish aggregate every bit of weight can really make a big difference yes that was a small one for sure that fish probably weighs around five or six pounds I guess these guys are hoping to see fish 20 30 maybe even 40 pounds but Fish in the boat, it's a good start. Now they can go out there and try to get another big one. All right, back on scene here. One thing about this tournament, it doesn't matter what boat you're fishing from, you've got a chance. Check out right behind me here, about the 18 foot Baja single engine inboard gas. That would not be your typical King Micro fishing boat, but they got him on right now. All right, as you can see here, these guys are hooked up right here on the hot rod. What's really interesting here is to watch the, the guy in the front there, that's Alan Barnes, he's fighting a fish. But meanwhile, in the back, Brett is still fishing. He's got his lines out. He's actually putting more baits in the water. A lot of times what happens is there's a theory that, you know, you get one fish on, you get some activity going, other fish take notice. So by putting more baits in the water, you may get a second one on or even a third one on. So just that, that difference, that spur of activity is really what, you know, can maybe trigger a bite. So that's, these guys are masters of that. They've got another four or five lines, or I think it's four lines that are in the water right now, still trying to get another bite. Meanwhile, we're on the bow catching a fish. This is the difference a lot of times between doing good and doing great. We're continuing to follow the progress of the hot rod. These guys are very accomplished King Mackerel Tournament fishermen. Alan has been fishing since he was, you know, less than 10 years old, easy with his father, Brett. 
But this is a great example if you watch these guys on how to angle king mackerel. I mentioned earlier, very small hook, so you just never know how much hook you've got in the fish. And so, and so what's critical here is not, is you certainly gotta catch the fish, but you've also gotta play them easy. You just don't wanna pull the hook. So you'll watch how Alan acts and how it gently, he's still moving the fish, but it's very subtle, very gentle movements, nothing jerky for fear of pulling the hooks out of the fish. Really good example. These guys are pretty, these guys are called a lot of big fish. And I can tell they're a little bit tense right now. And when they say that the fish made a good run, I think it's a good one. That, all the, they would know, they would know. There he is, king mackerel, good fish. Good fish! Nice king mackerel right there. The hot rod just put a solid fish in the boat. It'll be around 20 pounds. That'll be one of the two fish that they need for success. Good job, guys. Let's see if we can get some more going. Good job, Alan. What'd that fish bite? Minnie, Minnie, Pogi, gotcha. Right there. All right, good job. All right, how about you, Captain Brandon Sauls? <laughs> we have a copy here. We need a fish in the port. What's the guy, Brett? One shot. Oh, no shots. We got one fish, one king knuckle. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, you competed in the inaugural test round of this event last year. I think you have the largest fish in the event. What do you, uh, you still have confidence here today? Uh, well, it's looking, um, I'm, I'm losing confidence, but <laughs> there's a big fish to come. It's just a matter of time. All right, well, with all that uh, patriotic garb you got on there, be, be hail to the chief and catch a big one. Good luck, you guys. That's right, Jimmy America, stand by. <laughs> no Limits Fishing is brought to you by... Formerly Marine Service Center, the new Sportsman's Choice Marine located on Highway 9 in Long, South Carolina has been serving your boating and outdoor needs for 20 years. Come visit our new showroom and check out brands such as Yamaha, Carolina Skiff, Contender, Triton, and many more that are on display daily. Whether you're looking for a new toy on the water or need service, the staff at Sportsman's Choice looks forward to the opportunity to earn your business. At Seato, you don't just get help you get a fleet of help. More boats and more experienced captains mean CETO members receive help faster. Membership is inexpensive at only 46 cents per day, and that's for complete coverage, from fuel drops to jump starts to a timely tow home. It's 24-7 peace of mind on the water. Become a CETO member today for just $169 a year and know the country's premier on-water assistance fleet is standing by. CETO. Here's a myth. Having an insurance agent costs you more money. The truth, an Allstate agent can save you a bundle by helping you get all of the discounts you deserve. Discounts for safe driving, anti-lock brakes, owning a new car, paying electronically, having more than one policy, and more. All told, the good hands offer more than 30 different car and home insurance discounts. The new Ocean Isle Fish Company restaurant and GMAC Tiki Bar is open air, on the water dining at its finest. Come and be part of the show as fishing boats arrive to the dock daily, offloading their catch, and watch as the freshest fish on the coast moves from boat to kitchen to your plate. The Ocean Isle Fish Company restaurant, located at the base of the Ocean Isle Beach Bridge. The Ocean Isle Fish Company, where our fish are always fresh. What do you get when you take this guy, his son, and his son, and put them to work? You get three generations of the best HVAC company around. You get Al Fulford Heating and Cooling, a Ream Team top contractor that takes great pride in service after the sale. Over 40 years in the industry says a whole lot, so trust these guys for quality Ream Home Comfort Solutions, as well as innovative geothermal technology and a whole lot more. Al Fulford Heating and Cooling. Now, back to more No Limits Fishing. Got a king mackerel? Wait a second. Yeah. Yeah. This looks like a nice fish here. Decent fish anyway. Couldn't see it real good, but I do know it is a king mackerel. It's all the color. Lots of work. Oh, 
Oh no! Oh no! You just watched it right here, guys. Saw that rod go limp. That was the hook pulling right out of that fish. See the dejection in the team. How about that? You can't get them all in the boat. That's exactly what we're talking about. These fish, a lot of them are just barely hooked. That wasn't necessarily anger, angler fault at all. It just happens. You lose fish. Part of the game. Just because you get the bite does not mean you're going to catch the fish. While all that was going on, right back here behind us, the tide line just put in a nice fish. I bet they hooked that fish and caught it in less than two minutes. That was very fast. They ran right up on top of it and caught it. So there's quality fish in here. Scale bound. Captain Jeff Cunningham hooked up. These guys are real nervous. They said they've seen the fish. Said it looked like a pretty nice fish. Remember, it's a two fish aggregate, so you don't have to catch one giant one, just two quality fish. So let's see how the second half of this day unfolds for everybody. You might be watching at home, you say, well, why doesn't he catch a fish? Why doesn't he just yank him in the boat? Very small hooks, light line. It's very easy to break the line or more likely to pull the hooks out of the fish before you get to the boat. That could be a $10,000 fish on the end of the line right there. And you don't want to be pulling the hooks on a $10,000 fish. You see Trask. Trask has got a 12-foot gap. That's the maximum legal length. Let's try to reach down and get this fish. We got him. Oh yeah, nice fish. All right. That was a good, qual good quality fish. Good quality fish. 20 pound range. She saw Trask use the length of that gap to reach down. That fish was foul hooked, which is exactly what I was talking about, pulling the hook. But that's a good one half of a two fish aggregate. All right, so this is Kevin Nealon. Chris Nealon, sorry, on the Wild Wing Cafe boat. He just called us over. He said he thinks he has a really nice fish on. The problem is he's also got two amberjack on. So he's got two amberjack out the back and he's fighting a king mackerel right here beside the boat. All right, got you. So we talked earlier about techniques. One technique is to circle around your fish. Here you'll actually see the king mackerel circling the boat and the angler moving around. Oh yeah, I see good fish in the water there. Yep. Nice fish, guys. Nice fish. Nice fish. This could be. This could make the difference right here. This could be the winner. Fish in the boat. Woo! Woo! Nice. Nice fish. Hold that thing up real quick. Are you out or are you still in the same area? Oh yeah. Good job guys. Nice fish. Thank you. Way to go. Hey, that's the biggest fish we've seen so far today. Put that with one more boys and you might have it. That's a great fish. Good job. That ain't gonna go with the five pounders we got. <laughs> no Limits Fishing is brought to you by Here the keys, man. It's all mine. Parenthood isn't gonna change me. I'll still see the guys every weekend. Please, I'm still king of this castle. You're gonna love the backseat pocket. It's not like I'm gonna get a minivan. Life can surprise you, so can an Allstate agent. Now they can save you $3,000 on a new car with the Allstate Car Buying Service. The good hands are doing more than ever before. What do you get when you take this guy, his son, and his son, and put them to work? You get three generations of the best HVAC company around. You get Al Fulford Heating and Cooling, a Ream Team top contractor that takes great pride in service after the sale. Over 40 years in the industry says a whole lot, so trust these guys for quality Ream Home Comfort Solutions, as well as innovative geothermal technology and a whole lot more. Al Fulford Heating and Cooling. Formerly Marine Service Center, the new Sportsman's Choice Marine located on Highway 9 in Long, South Carolina has been serving your boating and outdoor needs for 20 years. Come visit our new showroom and check out brands such as Yamaha, Carolina Skiff, Contender, Triton, and many more that are on display daily. 
Whether you're looking for a new toy on the water or need service, the staff at Sportsman's Choice looks forward to the opportunity to earn your business. Hi, I'm Captain Brant, and this is Braden and Caroline, and welcome to the Ocean Isle Fishing Center, where we have everything you need for fun on and around the water. Of course, with all of your fishing equipment. Braden, what do you like? The toys. What about you, Caroline? I like the cool clothes. Awesome. Well, we welcome you here to the Ocean Isle Fishing Center, located at 65 Causeway Drive, next to the Ocean Isle Fish Company on Ocean Isle Beach. Now, back to more No Limits Fishing. Alright, well, day's coming to an end. Just got a few more minutes before the 2 o'clock line's out of water time. Got some guys, two different boats fighting fish right up to the very end here. It's been a, started off a little slow, but it's been a relatively exciting mid, you know, mid morning and late afternoon here. Lots of fish today, not all king mackerel, but a lot of action, which, you know, like you said, you never really know what you have. Uh, when you get a bite out here, you gotta treat every fish like it's the winter. And, you know, for all we're, you know, we know this may be the winter right now, right behind us here with just a few minutes left to fish. Yep, yep, so I would say this has been a great success. We've been blessed with incredibly good weather today. Uh, we ended up fishing two different spots. We're in 70 feet of water was our final location here. Um, you know, I know we easily saw 20 king mackerel get caught today, and of course all the other species we talked about was even a sailfish hooked up out here. So, um, nothing to do now, but uh, wait the final few minutes. Maybe, who knows, the winter might come here, but give the lines out time head to the scales and see what gets brought in. A two fish aggregate win. That's right, all the rumors <coughs> stop when it hits the scales. That's right, that's right. Soon to be official winners of the Jolly Mine VIP. We've got Alan Barnes and Father Brett Barnes. This is Team Hot Rod. We had some good action footage of these guys on the water catching a lot of fish today. How many, Alan, how many fish do you think you caught today? Caught seven. Seven King Mackerel. And well, these guys weighed in, they weighed a 22, almost 22 pounder, and a 29 for a roughly over 50 pound aggregate. The second place aggregate's around 48 pounds, two fish deal. A 29 pound, I mean that was a real kicker, that's the second largest fish in the tournament. Did you catch that fish before the 22 or after the 22? After. After? And did you guys stay, in, you, you caught on both of those fish at the second location we went to at 65 or 70 feet of water? That's correct, just one little one at the first location. Gotcha. And your first, your 22 pounder, do you remember what it had been? Menhaden. Oh yeah, Menhaden, and how about the second one? Menhaden. With skirts or unskirted? Unskirted. Unskirted. Downriggers or up top? Top. Up top. I got you. Any particular technique? You went head to head with 50, oh, 53 boats, and you guys came out on top. And you guys do well in a lot of tournaments. Do you attribute anything that you did specifically today to bringing these fish to the dock? <laughs> Probably just leaving some line. Yeah, just fishing harder. Did you have any instances where you had multiple fish on? Yeah, had, had a couple doubles. Did any of those end up being some of your bigger fish? Yeah, so, so continuing to fish, we actually got some footage and discussed that on your very boat, how you all were. Alan was up front fishing, catching a fish, and you were in the back scrambling around, throwing lines out, you know, keeping them going. So congratulations to our 2015 VIP winners. These guys are going to get a check for $10,000, assuming it officially holds up, which just looks good here. So congratulations and winners of our first 2015 Jollymon VIP.